Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Hope Valley Baptist YouTube channel. My name is Sean Timmons and I serve as the youth ministry intern at the church. Today, I want to take a few minutes and provide some thoughts and make some connections between what we have been studying as a youth group, what we will be studying this Sunday, and of course, what has been discussed in Passport this week. Over the past several weeks, we have been focusing on the theme, B. For example, several weeks ago, we looked at the disciples traveling on the road to Emmaus and studied what it means to be still in the presence of Jesus. We've studied what it means to be loved by God, as demonstrated by Paul in 1 Thessalonians when he says that there are no requirements for receiving God's love. It has already been freely given through the life, death, and resurrection of Christ. Last week, we discussed the Good Samaritan and the necessity of being with others because of our faith. We are not just called to do things for those around us. We are called to live life alongside them and love them just as God first loved us. In a similar sense, Passport this week has focused on the theme, Be Together, and what being together as a community of believers may look like. Throughout this week, you have been challenged in different ways to reach out of your comfort zones and live out your faith. You were challenged to think of someone to reach out to and demonstrate that you are together with them, and you all responded well. Even more so, several of you have already begun asking, what now? You have already started asking for suggestions. What should we do next? What does it truly mean to live daily together as a community focused on Christ? Friends, that is exactly what we will be exploring this week in Bible study. The focus is B1. And we'll be reading and discussing 1 Corinthians 12, verses 4 through 27. I won't read the full passage now, but I would like to read a few verses. Paul says this in verses 12 through 13. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in the one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. In this passage, Paul delves into this bodily metaphor to describe the church in relation to Christ. Especially today, it seems impossible for a church to come together on any one topic, considering the vast range of differences between each person. But it is exactly these differences that the church is called to flourish with. God made each person unique, and God also made each person uniquely in God's image. Therefore, our differences are not meant to divide us but to draw us nearer as the body of Christ. That is our focus for this upcoming week, and I hope it will help answer just some of the questions you have all been asking recently. So check out 1 Corinthians 12, verses 4 through 27, and join into the Zoom meeting on Sunday night at 6 p.m. If you don't have the info, reach out to the church office, and we'll make sure to get you the link to that meeting. I'm excited and I look forward to having a great discussion on 1 Corinthians and what it means to be one as the body of Christ. Keep sending your ideas, keep sending your thoughts, email me, text me. Y'all are doing awesome and I look forward to talking with y'all on Sunday. Until then, guys.